Every society depends on reliable infrastructure. Without it, modern life wouldn't be possible. It's well known that sustaining this infrastructure needs regular efforts because physical and chemical factors known as abiotic corrosion contribute to its wear and weathering. But there's more than that. Microorganisms have existed for billions of years. They've evolved into extremely adaptable and specialized organisms able to live in habitats like Arctic ice, toxic hot springs, and hypersaline lakes. When they meet our infrastructure, they can cause negative effects, which are referred to as microbiologically influenced corrosion, or MIC. Some of the microorganisms even use human-made materials like steel or alloys as energy and nutrient sources, as demonstrated by these carbon steel beads. But metal is only one example. It seems that almost every material can be affected – polymers, concrete and even ceramics. Attempts to slow down MIC with coatings or biocides only have a temporary effect. Coatings wear off, and microorganisms have developed resistance to biocides. At the Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing, all necessary disciplines are represented under one roof to address MIC as an interdisciplinary challenge, combining basic research with industrial application. To bring all relevant MIC factors together, we've developed an environment simulation system called High Tension. It allows us to simulate various conditions so we can test novel materials, coatings and biocides for their durability and effectiveness. We want to raise awareness in the sectors that are affected by MIC and gain scientific insights to find solutions for MIC. By doing so, we contribute to safety in technology and chemistry. Contact us to learn more and join our network.